Hello everyone, welcome back to some of Clay's Darkest Dungeon. What is this? Alright, oh, we did we saved some heroes? Rescue this plague doctor. We don't need that though. We got a level 3 crusader here. Because what we need is a freaking crusader. We lost Reynolds. That was unlucky. I mean this is the I'm being very greedy estate, but <laughs> it's fine. Legend Crusader had a heart attack due to unsustainable stress. Damn, I mean, the theoretically I could just take this one, he's level 3, and then go into a mission with the Librarian and him, and power level him that way. We have to do a mission on the highest level though, and it's kinda dangerous. Like, we probably shouldn't go for a long one on the high level because Librarian isn't that strong and a level 3 Crusader is not good enough for this stuff. I mean, I'm gonna take it until we get a better leveled one. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. I guess he is... Warrior. On 4-4, four, four, anyways, that's pretty nice. Unholy Slayer on him is nice, he gets even more damage, that's pretty good. So, we could do that. I mean, the Librarian is also back, so that it could work. Maybe we should keep that in mind as we go along. Less food consumed, less HP damage when starving, plus dodge. Less stress from hunger, less stress from camping meals. Interesting. Doesn't consume any food at all. We got this cleansing one with resistances. I like that one. We got most of these though. Good old damage and crit on death store. Do we have a blasphemous vial? Because that's an amazing trinket and I don't think we do. No we don't. We should probably take that. The question now is, can we do a long ruins run with Librarian and the Crusader? We could get completely screwed if I take a level 3 Crusader in here. Again, he's level 4, but he, his resistances are down. And also we'll have a Librarian in the party. It's not the greatest. Like, I need two other characters who could. Because I can't do it the other way. They, they refuse here. But he's gonna not feel great. Now, this is... We'll have these two as damage dealers and they don't do damage. What is this? Plus 15 quirk? Right, on the runes tactician. I mean, her beatback might work. She can't use her tonics and tinctures unless I take someone who can shuffle from shuffle these positions. And then we need a healer in the backline, I guess. She has front two, back two, that's not that great. Not the kind of shuffle I'm looking for. What do we have? I mean, we could take shield breaker again. She's really good at shuffling. He's good at shuffling as well, but only from the first and second position with these, not from the second and third. I could have Elamia somewhere in the backline. She can heal and stress heal. What is going on with this lag? What the hell is that? We could have a... It's happening again. Okay, this is strange. I mean, you see in this? I'm not sure why this is happening. I hope I don't have to restart this. But I've closed everything going on in the background, hoping it's better now. 
Now again, I'm still on the... We need someone who can shuffle this around, hopefully. Sisters could do it if they're transformed. You can do it once with the move forward, not that much with the move back. Because in the back line she can use the tonics and tinctures. Is that good? Maybe not. No, we can use the Vestal as a healer and we can give her that bonus damage versus unholy. Or this bonus damage versus unholy. Probably not. Hand of Light is also frontline. I guess Judgment is still the best thing. Might be the best one. Hmm. I kind of still want to use her for this one and then buffing later on. I want her to be able to do damage, so I need someone who can deal damage from the third position. Should he do this? This marks him for the whole fight. Probably not. So accusation. I guess get the stun in there. And then... Still Grave Robber has forward, backward. He has forward, backward. But I don't know. Slayer is kind of... Not doing great. We can't use him. This is not easy. Collect bound. He does damage from the backlines. Maybe just the Yabalist or the Musketeer. There can be damage done here. Falconer, maybe. Her damage is mediocre and she's better in the mark party, but she, this is something that can. That is someone that can do something from the back lines. Musket here is the same. Plague Doctor would be nice, but she's incapacitated. Like, this is actually a bad party because we have no one who's tanky. Look at the HP. I guess he's 54 is the most. The thing is I need someone who can get damage in the back lines. 7 to 14. A to 13. Hmm. What is this? 4 to 17. Uh, 7 to 14 as well. On the Arbalist. Check in if any of these have something, some bonus when doing in the ruins. No. She is Twilight Dreamer and ignores stealth. That's kind of cool. We have no mark synergy at all, so her marking capabilities don't really matter. Hound's Rush is a bad idea. He can't really attack from the third position and we need someone who can deal damage. Yeah, I think it's gotta be... Yes, you can You can guess I'm having a very hard time deciding this. We've not used the Falconer for a very, very long time, so yeah. Let's do this. I... I wish we didn't do this on a long mission, but I want to have this. Oh, it's medium only! Oh! Okay, I feel a lot better now. Okay, you're upgraded. Let's see. The Imperfect Manifesto and the Librarian's Uniform. The rest is fully equipped. Let's see what you got. Fully fully upgraded. Thing is, I'm still not going to use Illumination. Still think this is by far the best equipment we could get. Now, 
Unlock your camping skills. Everybody's camping skills are unlocked. Okay. Skills are unlocked. It's probably the right decision. Not sure if the flurry here is great. Buff party speed and crit on the spirited cry. Flurry hits the front line though. Yeah, okay. Now the important part. Trinkets. Uh, Vestal. The healing skills, trinket. And then more healing skills. We could put this in there. Reuse the dodge and the crit. No, probably some accuracy range. For now, so she deals damage. And the speed up is also nice. Falconer. Class trinkets. We got the dodge and crit and the debuff skill chance. Librarian's still not working quite well. Crusader. Also got healing and stress skills. Damage melee skills, less healing. Keep it for now. So let's see. Crusader. You take the pen. I don't know. We have the crit and damage range. And then... Probably the accuracy and protection. We have more stuff for ranged characters though. Sniper's ring, accuracy in position 4. And crit in position 4, it's less speed. Would go down to 7 speed, 7 speed is fine though. And we can keep the accuracy on her. Gotta shuffle these two around then. We need some damage here and probably... Do I take this and this? Nine to eleven on the damage. Maybe take accuracy. I think he should take accuracy because he might have less accuracy since he's only level three as a character. What is this? A lot more stress for HP, speed, and dodge. Doesn't seem smart. We could also take the Ruin standard. We got this one right, yeah. yeah. Less stress, less damage received, and more protection. Interesting idea, but I don't think so. We could take stun skill chance. Since she's stunning. Do we have the Unholy Slayer? No, we don't have the Unholy Slayer. Hmm. Less max HP, hell no. Maybe one of the defensive trinkets. Oh, damage and crit versus unholy. Kind of like the accuracy here, the accuracy here, the accuracy here. Okay. Do we not take the scouting chance then and just hope that she smacks people around. Scouting chance is so good though. And it's a collect quest, so maybe do it like this. No, I just gotta check if there's some quirks to be who should be removed. Oh, this is actually fine. Let's see. Stress eater can be very unfortunate, but she can heal stress. Paranormia. And lock in the quick reflexes. Could work. Bloodthirsty. Okay, you know what? Get rid of bloodthirsty. And you get rid of Paranomania. Okay, I can't lock that in. 
It's not worth 7,000 gold. Away we go. 15 minutes. It took a long while. We have to activate three corrupted altars. This party is fine. In case we get shuffled, I'll keep the holy lands. But he's going to use smite and stunning blow most of the time. Also, also all melee attacks. You two get shuffled around. That's important. So the sniper's ring works. We got the accuracy here for her judgment. Has a negative accuracy mod or less accuracy than it should have. We're medium, so 12 and 8. Two shovels, three keys, three holy water. Maybe four each is smarter. Take 12 and 6. We don't need the blood. I'm taking one of each just in case we need it normally this is this is probably waste but we have enough money and three of each here i'm not sure maybe we take it's too much three of each should be enough we'll, we'll probably end up tossing at least one key in one holy water and it's going to be my fault let's see if we can speed level the good old crusader a bit this whole very, very forced party composition is my bad from being too aggressive. And watch me lose someone now because I'm being very aggressive and trying to re-level the Crusader and then... Can the defiled be consecrated? Can the fallen find rest? Curio, curio, curio. None of these are what we have to do, but I'm still gonna do it, okay. Librarian. We're dumping all the experience on the Crusader. Even the cold he isn't even a cont contest. Preventing passage. Don't we see quest... Quest curious here? Oh, come on. And I think burning this releases... No, it doesn't, doesn't work. We're not fighting this. Get out of here. And we will fight this, of course. Let's test how well this works out. Turns out, not very. so much damage oh no Libra the, the librarian is far too weak a fighter look at this <laughs> really Holy God! Stop! Okay, she's not she's not dead yet. Okay, I should also probably be a bit quiet. That guard is bad. Wait, this this bypass guard? No, bypass stealth. beat this boy back very good the beat bag is actually doing a lot of work here now I can use flurry because it attacks both of them then we continue on healing this one there's corpses sadly this is moving forward very nice Clam clumsy axe blade and graveyard stumble. That's top tier enemies. So this was a average party, and we can handle this. But I'm not so sure if we get like there's a chance we could get some really really bad enemies at some point, and that could screw us up.
No, can she use Mace Bash? No. We're not fighting those. Get out of here. There's no way we're, we're taking unnecessary fights. Just want to interact with all the curios. Get there and get have him be instantly level 6. It was an 85%. I don't like that. And I wasted a torch there. I don't like that either. Okay, I should I should I should concentrate. We got this still. I mean we only fought one fight and it didn't go as smooth as I sh as it should, I think. Two food doesn't help us. Again, we're not interacting with this, and this time you disarmed the trap. Very good. And here we go, our second fight. What is this? How does this happen? No more stealth, and then I guess we kill this one. Good hit there. Now he's going to do a rush shot. Ooh, that's got a sting. This party might work due to uh, repositioning. Oh, the enemy? The knockback on the beatback is surprisingly relevant. We're still in default party order. I got enough keys. Interact with this. Show me what you got. You take that level up. Taking this here. We wanted busts, so I'm taking this here. No more scouting. Now we're all... Uh, well, I'm not so sure about this. Maybe we can get a stun going, then this would actually be fine. 90% resist? Let's try it out. Okay, that worked out. What do we get for first round dodge? And we get crit for torchlight high. Ah, I'm just gonna hit him for 11 to 13. The surprisingly great start, I'd say. A powerful blow. Bled again. Okay, that stun is not happening. He's at 140 resistances. I mean, hell yeah. We're seeing that damage. We have basically got him dead before anything happens. We actually have him dead before anything happens. The blood mm. And I was afraid that we wouldn't have enough damage in there because these two can only attack the front lines. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I'm taking a trapezohedron here. The sack is empty. Crate is empty. No, the crate is not empty. If you always assume the worst, what is happening here? Party! Guys, guys, you're stretched. You're stretched too far. Okay, we're back here. Okay, yeah, sure. Curio, 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 curio. There's a quest location. Yeah, dismiss. Move, you're free now, free! We'll soon open an inventory space from the torches. No, we don't. Immediately get it back. How far are we? 260? We're at 260 already? Hell no. Leave, get away with this crap. Hmm. Oh, you won't, won't take that? Who still needs level up? You're at 6, 6, 
she's at 5. I mean, she will level up anyways. Okay. So I dumped everything I thought I would. The Ancestors map helping us out with the trap disarm here. And there we go. First quest location. We got another... Curio. Okay, I'm going for the Curio. We'll probably ignore the battle. I just dumped everything there. Technically still worth giving us torchlight here. In radiance, may we find victory. But I think this was actually the herbs we dumped, maybe? Or was it anti-venom? I think it's herbs to disinfect stuff. Might be anti-venom. Anyways, we dumped both of them, so didn't really matter much. If only treasure could staunch the flow. Other worlds now this is scary. I don't want to get you. I don't want you to guard the bone bearer. We have to kill him. And I think I'm actually going to mark. That is fine. Because we can kill him with this. He's gonna get rest next turn. Or oh, end of turn actually. Okay. The other one has stun resist. Okay, while we have him marked, we'll kill him in two turns hopefully. It's a buff, okay. Ah, oh, Crusaders doesn't act before. Unfortunate, I was hoping. He still has a stun resist. Why don't we get the kill? It's a bit wasted because it's gonna get rezzed anyways. There we go. Thankfully, it was this guy with a rat bone militia and a shield wall. Those might be... Okay, I'm gonna take a party here, but those might be the, the easiest. This might be the easiest party configuration with the resurrection guy we could hope for. So, wow! Go get him, champ! Okay, this was another easy fight, so no worries there. She's just using her beat back. Be wary. Okay, you take this. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Falcon a journey. Do you get rid of something for the crest? Nah. This is not a quest item, a quest location, so we'll fight for this curio. Okay. Can the falcon I get the witch? Oh, yes, she can! Get her with the judgment. Gonna beat back here. I was hoping for at least the knockback. 6 to 12. There's a chance to get a kill. Ah. Unfortunate. Ooh, is this the stun? Are we getting stunned? We're getting stunned. I don't like that. But so far this is working fine and I think we will get him there. I mean 280, that's a lot of experience. You can't stun her again, she's resistant now. Okay, if we were hit there, this would have... I think we can get the kill before healing. It would have bled him, guaranteed, basically, because he has... Oh, not guaranteed, but would have probably bled him because he has low bleed resist. I mean, he has low everything resist, basically. Still, I want the damage de dealt rather than the heal. Now oh, the knockback. So you gotta do the inspiring cry, I guess. And there you go. 
Enemies are dealt with. That's very good loot. Okay, you're not taking this one either. So I got 12 food. That's fine with the firewood with scouting. Quest location. Okay, well the thing is, I still need one more quest location back there. There's a chance that this might be a blockade and we have to use the shovel. I hope it isn't, so I'm keeping the emerald. Maybe you should keep the crest instead. This heals and cures. Very nice. So that's worth it. Let's move on. Easy fight, please. Okay. This is... I mean, I don't know if you could classify this as an easy fight. Honestly. But... Well, I know you can classify this as an annoying fight. Oh no. Yeah, immediately cursed. It's one of them dead. Isn't quite good enough for another kill. Don't you dare curse another one. Resist it. Dear god. Okay, maybe we can get the stun going. We can. And then the kill. Okay. Hopefully we can get the stun going. And then the crusader kills this one. Okay, that worked out fine. We handled it. Resisted the bleed. How very unfortunate. Oh, maybe the Crusader actually needed it more. Go for some AoE healing and then the Crusader finishes it off. Nice. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Quick draw charm. We got one. It's not great. It didn't feel good while playing, the speed debuff was too harsh, but it might be worth more than 1750 gold, I'm not sure. Should probably check. Let's let's take it. Now, bust. I think we have too many curios still going. I can't get rid of that stuff. We could get rid of the torch soon. We should probably rest as well to open up inventory space. I will do that. Let's not use a torch, but rest. Prevents nighttime ambush. What else can we do? Scouting chance, crit, and start and, and stress on everyone. That's fine. Produce a random amount of food is the only thing we can do for two. Or now let's produce a random amount of food. That was actually excellent. The Finding four food there. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Okay, first good news is we don't need a shovel. Second good news is ah okay. Ooh, we get loot. That's the second good news. You're not taking it? Fine. Can we get over three hundred resolve experience? Might be a cap. Um second good news is there's Two more curious here, and third good news is there's only one fight after this that's guaranteed. Quest location might be another fight actually. I should have maybe attacked the madman. Destroyed. Oh. Okay, you knock this guy back and then the crusader gets a crit on the madman for the one hit. Watch me. Ugh. That would have been great. That hurts. Thank I'm really thankful for that speed boost on the basic quick shot. 
Yeah, I knew it wouldn't stun. Only secure this heal. Didn't get the kill. It's fine though. We'll get him next turn. And now we can actually attack the freaking Bone Sergeant. Okay. Three. Do we do three damage with this? No. So I guess we kill here. Heal everyone. Ooh, the one with the most HP missing for a crit heal. Hmm. I actually like her facial expressions as well on the librarian. A trifling victory. Yeah, he won't take it. I think 300 is the most we can do. Keep the keys. Yeah, Corrupted Altar has been purified. And then one fight, and then some Curio looting. Again, this is a hard enemy, I think the accuracy debuff, and especially the mark is gonna be great. Impressive. And then we start getting him. Maybe we can stun this one away? No. I want to, I want to kill the ghoul. Weakened. Weakened? Okay, I need three damage here. It's gonna be three damage. Very nice, ghoul is dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure, save him from the Crusader. Fine, fine. Yeah, they didn't want to get the kill anyways. There you go. As victories mount, yeah, 300 so is a cap. Will resistance. Now there's one more Curio I can't see. Might be something where I have to use the key. No, it's a Knowledge Curio. Read it. I love that she gets the stress relief no matter what happens in that curio. Do we fight? No, we just end the quest. So, Risty Gamble worked. We got through there. Belongs to the light. We got the Blasphemous Vile. Accuracy, stun, and Blythe Strands is beautiful. 14k gold isn't bad either. I mean, heirlooms, a few of them, sure. Look at this level up. <laughs> 34 resolve experience. Manic for money on her. It's fine, she will loot stuff. That's actually not bad on her. Might actually be... The shuffling dead are silenced. We have claimed the just good. over the ruins once more. And there's a silence in the crypt. Do we have a boss fight there? No. Okay, still, okay, fine. There you go, you're back, my friend. Let's upgrade you. That went a lot better than expected. Like last episode, at the end of last episode, we lost a Crusader and now we got a level six Crusader again. Yeah, I like that, this, this worked nicely. So this is something we can do if we lose a single character again. With the help of the Librarian, just power level him to six in one mission. And it was a medium mission as well. Nice. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.